Hola, good afternoon, and welcome to another Light Syndicate podcast. My name is Juan Carlos, and well, yeah, as you know, I'm your regular TV host or YouTube channel host. You get the idea. Anyway, we're trying to figure out what's going on. This is a fairly new channel, as you all know. We're kind of building it up, and one of the things that I really love reading are lists, but I don't do a lot of blog posts or podcasts talking about lists. So for my first list here on the channel, we're gonna do a 25 best books for Christmas. Um, I know what you're thinking, it's maybe a little early, but honestly, these are one of those things that you can always buy throughout the year. And basically, it's all photography books that are perfect presents for any photographer, for any hobbyist, or anybody who just likes cool images. So I hope you guys like my selection. Um, this is my own personal choice. Yeah, so let's go, and I've got a big pile of books here, and let's start right away with actually this first book. Equus from Tim Flack, and Tim Flack, he is an amazing, extraordinary photographer. Um, he's a Hasselblad master, he's a Hasselblad ambassador. I met uh, Tim twice already. Uh, we were together at the Hasselblad Masters Edition back in 2012 when it launched at Photokina. Tim was there, but I had met with him a couple of times over the years. Um, he's actually one of the people who got me excited about photographing animals. And this is this beautiful book um, that's all about these wild horses. And as you can see, it's just really, really gorgeous. Let me quickly show you some images. Um, Tim has great details. He loves this like super moody images and it's just a beautiful book. It's got really, really nice paper. Um, the images obviously are stunning. The layout is gorgeous. So if you like horses, if you like animal photography, definitely check out Equus by um, Tim Flack. So this is actually really, really nice. And it's, it's published by Abrams. Um, and they're a super beautiful publisher. And this is really a wonderful book. So this is on my list. It's one of my top books right here. Next is work. Um, by Sebastian Salgado or any of the Sebastian Salgado books are all amazing. I love Sebastian. Um, I met him at Paris Photo maybe in 2014, 2015. We chatted for like five minutes, um, but he just had this aura about him. Um, this is actually a Portuguese edition called Work, Trabalho. Um, and it's put out by Camino, um, which again, not your regular publisher, so it's not like it's a news or a Tashin type book. Um, Abrams, again, a lot of quality, but I need to ask you guys to forgive my, my books are in really bad shape. Um, some of them, it's my personal collection and I actually, I'll go and I'll buy a book and I probably won't read it for maybe a year or two years or three years. I've bought this years ago and only recently that I go through it, but actually it, it was on a shelf by a window and there was some water damage, but the book is still amazing and I'm still sharing it with you guys. So again, Sebastian Salgado, he's a documentary photographer, Brazilian. Um, all of his work is pretty incredible and check it out. So definitely add any of the Sebastian Salgado books to the list. Um, quickly, so this is kind of, uh, um, what do they call it? A, a hopeless, not a hopeless plug. Um, a selfless. Shameless. Shameless, there you go. Thank you, Dylan. A shameless plug. And so Hasselblad Masters book, they're still out there. I actually, I'm bringing three into the list. Um, this is Hasselblad Masters number six called Innovate. And then I've got Hasselblad Masters number five. This one's Inspire. Each book has a different theme. And what's cool about this is actually collecting all of them and keeping the whole collection. They put out a book every year. It's translated into four different languages. And um, you can still find number five, Inspire. You can find volume six, Innovate, still out there. Um, I'm actually friends with this photographer, Mark, right here. Congratulations on winning the Hasselblad Masters. And then, shameless plug, this is my cover for the Hasselblad Masters volume two, Emotion. 
These I think are a little bit harder, but we'll put drop, we'll drop some links, some affiliate links down in the post. I don't think I'll have one there, but in the future, depending how this actual post goes, I might do a giveaway and I might give one of these away. So uh, keep an eye out for a giveaway and that might be happening before Christmas. All right, so what else do I got? Um, one of my all time favorite photographers is the amazing Annie Leibovitz. And this is an incredible book. Um, it, it's got all of her work from 1990 to 2005. Many of you might know Annie as being a fashion photographer. I actually consider her the ultimate portrait photographer. This is just a, a beautiful book with wonderful pictures. Um, and it's definitely worth checking out and reading. So Annie Leibovitz, Photographer's Life is definitely on my list. Um, real quick, I think I, do I need to make more room here? Probably. So I'm going to get some of these out of the way. Now, it, work isn't the only Annie Leibovitz book that I have. I actually chose another book and Annie Leibovitz work. This is actually really great. Um, as you can see, it's been lying around picking up dust in my house for way too long, but recently I finally broke it out and I finally started reading it. Um, so I'm about halfway through and it's, um, it's really interesting to see how her projects were. This is all spoken in her own words in first person. So I definitely add this to my list. Annie Leibovitz at work. This is actually really awesome. It's a little bit more affordable than some of the bigger books that I've shown so far. So I definitely check it out. Uh, what else we got? Ah, so this is all, always cool for all of you photographers who want to take your work to the next level, or maybe you've been shooting weddings for a long time and you've been like a fashion shooter for a while or advertising and you want to start shooting other type of genres of photography. Um, Peter Hurley, he's a fellow Westcott top pro, um, the master of the headshot. And I actually have this book for Peter to sign for me and he hasn't signed it yet. So Peter, if you watch this, this is waiting for you to sign it. Uh, I might have to send you a copy so that you can sign it and send it back to me. But Peter Hurley, um, the headshot, and it's a easy, simple read, and it's a nice book. What else we got here? This one's really cool. This is probably one of my favorite photographers of all time. Uh, growing up, he was a huge, huge influence on me. Uh, Saint Dorazio. And Saint Dorazio, basically, he's a fashion photographer. Um, he's a fashion photographer. Uh, he's an editorial photographer. He's a portrait photographer. But, I mean, his stuff is just so, so rich and so beautiful. I mean, it makes me want to go out and shoot black and white and shoot black and white film. So, this is actually a really, really beautiful book. Um, and I highly recommend it. Um, Centoratio, uh, a private view. And it's, it's probably one of the most beautiful books that I have. It's just really, really great. Next. Um, so this is from the master himself. Again, today I'm bringing out a lot of the old classics. It's Christmas time. I think it's a great time. I think for any photographer who's a photo fan, fashion fan, uh, if you just want nice, beautiful, pretty pictures to look at, this is it right here. Peter Lindbergh, it's published by Tashin, so it's fairly affordable. And it's this, just this massive, beautiful book, uh, mostly black and white pictures. And it's just stunning to look at. Um, you've got Naomi Campbell when she was super young. I mean, this was back in 1988. Um, again, it's, it's awesome to go back and see photographers, you know, kind of inside their worlds and how they were doing it. This was back in the day shot in film. This is a contact sheet. So it's just really nice to see that contact sheet right here. All right. So moving on really quick, uh, another great book for photographers. This one I've actually, I've read it twice already and it's been in my backpack for a while. That's why it's in such bad shape but it's pretty cool. So Nick Fancher, I've never met Nick. Um, he created this book and I think I bought it because I liked the name. I thought it was fairly interesting. I was doing research on writing one of my own books 
and I picked this up and it's pretty cool. So it's called Studio Anywhere, a photographer's guide to shooting the unconventional locations. Basically that's all I do every day is I shoot in unconventional locations and um, so this is a pretty good guide if you're just starting out and if you're a pro like me, um, sometimes it's just nice to get a refresher of you know how to do certain things. So definitely really cool book, Studio Anywhere. Um, I know Dylan, who's behind the camera, he's been checking this out for the last couple of days and I think he's taking it home for the weekend. So again, um, this is a top 25 list for photographers, so I'm bringing you different photography books and I've got books about lighting, I've got books about photographers' history. Well, this is more best business practices for photographers. Um, if you guys are familiar with this, this I think is already like volume two. Um, I was actually enough, lucky enough, I met John Harrington years ago back at Photo Expo Plus. Um, we've hung out a couple of times and John has actually signed my book. So it's pretty cool to have an author's book signed. It's still super practical, super relevant in today's terms. Um, and it's basically, you know, he talks about everything that they don't teach you at photo school. Um, how to do business. Uh, you know, everything from etiquette of social media expectations, the law, your brand and your image, marketing and an overview of its importance. So this is definitely an amazing book to keep. And I've, law, I've read through multiple different versions over the years and this is one of the latest versions and it's still very much relevant today. So definitely pick that up. Again, another one on, on being successful as a photographer and in, in the photography business, which this is the Photographer Survival Guide. Um, so this is super, super handy. It came out by Suzanne Cease and Amanda Sosa Stone. They're both photo reps and agents. They bring a lot of great input and feedback into the industry and how things are done. This is a really cool book also, so check that out. Real quick, again, um, I love Tashin and I think Tashin, they've been able to democratize photography and art for everybody. So you can get this massive, beautiful photo book filled with all of these pages for really fairly cheap. And that's what this is right here. So this is uh, photography in the 20th century, the Cologne Ludwig Museum. This is actually a version in Portuguese uh, but you do have it in English and I'm going to drop the affiliate links in English for those of you that want to order the English version. And it's basically, it's great because it gives you like a, a year by year access to this amazing photography collection in Cologne, Germany. And you get a really great idea of all of these different masterpieces and different work from the last century. Um, so yeah, if, if you want to brush up your photography history, this is a great book to do it, um, photography in the 20th century. So as some of you know, or may not know, I am, um, besides photographing fashion and commercial work, I also have a brand called Star Paws Photo and at Star Paws, um, we go and I shoot a lot of pet photography. And so, you know, because I was building up my brand, I was doing a lot of research and I bought all these different books on different types of pet photography. And this is a great book that I have from William Wegman called Being Human. And William is a photographer who's photographed pets for years and he basically took his best work, put it together and came out with this book. Um, Again, you know, that looks like Andy Warhol's portrait. This is shot in the year 2000. I mean, his stuff is just beautiful. Um, so if you like dogs, if you like cats, but mostly dogs, um, this is a great book for you. So going back to some of the big books, this is one of my favorite books. Um, you wouldn't tell because it's in such bad shape but it's definitely worth looking at. So Helmut Newton, again, one of my favorite photographers of all time. I love his work. And this book is just massive. It's out by Taschen. Helmut Newton, 20th anniversary, or 20th edition. It's go big or go home. They actually did a giant, giant, giant version of this 
Um, this is a slightly smaller version, but it is amazing. So if you're into Helmut Newton, this is the book to get. And um, yeah, I mean, he's got everything from portraits of Salvador Dali, um, Elizabeth Taylor, Johnny Depp. Um, here he's got Karl Lagerfeld and Jacques de Boucher. So, I mean, it, again, Helmut Newton is amazing. Check him out. Definitely a book to have on the list. I highly, highly, highly recommend it. All right, so another shameless self plug. Uh, a fotografia com câmera digital, and basically how to photograph with a smartphone and your digital phone. Um, this book is by Alexandre Barel, uh, but I am the technical revisor. And actually, good news is we're coming out with a second edition that's going to be coming out just before Christmas. You can find it at FNAC pretty much everywhere or on Wook.com. We've actually upgraded the new book with a chapter talking about lighting um, and how to use lighting and different lighting techniques. So that's been added to this second revised reversion. And then basically, besides a manual of how to photograph, you've got a chapter with the stunning work of a lot of amazing photographers. Um, most of them are my friends. I invited them to be part of the book. So it's really exciting to see images by Andre Boto, by Didi Art. Uh, my buddy Federico Van has got some cool images here. Luis Godinho, uh, Miguel Lopes, photojournalist, has got some great stuff in here. Pedro Gomes, another great photojournalist, has stuff in here. Pedro Nobrega has got some great stuff in here. Walter Antunes has got some great stuff in here. My friend Tanya Neves has got some great images. So again, check it out and you know this is a way of supporting me and some of my photography friends. So this is a great book. If you're a beginner, you just want to figure out how to photograph better with your phone, this is an awesome book for you. So this is a really cool book. It's put out by Tate Museum. This is the Photography Ideas book, and basically each chapter has a different image, and then it, it gives you a little uh, text about the image and how the image happened. Uh, so again, if you're into fine art photography or you want to expand your knowledge about fine art photography, this is a really cool and affordable book, um, the Photography Ideas book from Tate Museum. This is a really great book. Um, Chris Knight, he's a photographer based out of New York, and he created the dramatic portrait, The Art of Crafting Light and Shadow. It's actually really, really well done. Congrats, Chris. It's, um, it's actually the book I wish I would have written. It, it, just from everything from the way that he writes, to his examples, to the beautiful images that are in here, to the breakdown that he does. So well done, Chris. Um, for all of you who want to take your photography to a more dramatic level, this is a great book by um, Chris, and it's The Dramatic Portrait. It's out by Rocky Nook. Uh, they specialize in photography books, and this is actually really, really an excellent book. And if you're not familiar with Lindsay, Lindsay's a fellow Westcott Top Pro. Um, she's also a fellow G Team or X G Team, now Sandus professional photographer. Um, She's a pro photo ambassador like myself. She's a Canon explorer of light. And she put this book out also by Rocky Nook a couple years back on posing. So it's the ultimate photographer's guide for posing. I definitely think that it's very well done. I mean, I've got a couple of other books from Lindsay. Um, one other book that I don't have here, but that's on my list is 52 Creative Ideas. I think that's the name of it. And basically it's a creative idea week. And it's a step-by-step -step for you to break out and try new techniques. And again, congrats, Lindsay. That's an amazing, beautiful book. That one I do have. I have read it. Um, and this is just another one for the collection. So definitely check this out. Now, uh, I think I'm pretty much almost done. I'm going to put one more book out there. Uh, again, another selfless, um, shameless self-plug. Uh, but a couple of years, a couple years back, I was part of this project, How to Photograph Everything. This was published by Popular Photography Magazine. They put out the book and they invited different photographers to talk about different subject matter. Literally, you can find everything from uh, street photography to top shot to fireworks to portrait photography to 
underwater photography. Basically, you've got everything from food photography. I actually, I'm in the fashion part of this book and I um, talk a little bit about fashion photography and, and and you know better ways to shoot better fashion photography so this is a great book that you can find anywhere and it's how to photograph everything again if you're just starting out or you're kind of interested and you want to get get your um, hands and feet wet in the photography business this is a great book that will explain pretty much how to photograph everything and that's it I think these are my 20 books or 25 books Check out the blog post because we're definitely going to give you guys a bigger description with direct affiliate links. You're also going to have maybe one or two books that I haven't discussed here that I'm going to throw into that list also. And um, yeah, thanks everybody for watching. Catch me soon. Subscribe. Smash that subscribe button. Don't forget. And I'll see you guys soon. Thank you and I'll talk to you later. Bye.